What I think might start happening in the next 10 to 20 years is some kind of split in society where we're gonna have organic humans and inorganic humans. Hey, this is Mike Sigla from truefury.com and welcome to another video. So, before we can start, I just wanna let you know that we are offering now YouTube membership options. So, if you're watching from YouTube, have a look. You can support our work so we can create more content and you're gonna get some cool little gifts and perks. Things like access to a secret Telegram channel where you can ask me some questions, once a month call with me, and other things, secret meditation, some occasional exclusive content. So check out YouTube membership. Now let's talk about the topic. Let me start by saying that what I'm gonna talk about today is obviously just my own speculation, but so far everything is going more or less as predicted many years ago already. So this is a probable scenario. And I don't wanna scare anyone. This is not fear mongering. My goal is to just raise awareness about these things. So when these things start unfolding, you pay attention and you know when to start making some important decisions about it. So this is the goal here, just to make people aware and warn people. So most of the top leaders, futurists, scientists, technologists, entrepreneurs understand that we are moving into a completely new era of transhumanism and artificial intelligence. And many top experts think that we might be the last generation of Homo sapiens because within the next couple of years, humans will become enhanced with some kind of technologies. So a lot of people think that, yeah, it's already happening, you know, I have my smartphone and that makes me a cyborg. This is not the, this level of technology. Smartphones you can switch on and off, you know, you don't have anything permanently installed that measures your biometric data 24 seven and knows every thought. This is slightly different. What I think might start happening in the next 10 to 20 years is some kind of split in society where we're gonna have organic humans and inorganic humans. So inorganic humans will be people who decide to take the path of transhumanism. For example, Mr. Elon Musk, who I think is not a savior, but complete opposite, already was granted permissions by FDA, Food and Drug Administration, to start testing his brain-computer interface, his microchip, on humans. He already was testing it on animals, allegedly killing over 1,000 animals in the process, right? So they do, they need guinea pigs basically to start developing these technologies. And now they wanna start testing it on humans. And this is what a lot of people, the guy, CEO of Nokia says, oh yeah, by 2030, we are gonna have these devices implanted in our bodies, that's what he thinks that's what a lot of people think. They obviously will try to push it as something useful, right? You can stream music to your mind or communicate just by thinking using technology or access internet or have additional memory, translate languages through thinking, right? We are talking about basically a microchip installed in your body, in, in the brain. This is what Elon Musk is working on. And it looks good because, for example, a person that might start using something like that, 
might suddenly be 100 times more productive than someone who doesn't use it, right? It's a little bit like what's happening with the smartphones now. So if you have a smartphone, you can check things on the internet, right? You can do something quickly. If you don't have a smartphone, then obviously you don't have these abilities. So this is the next step. However, this time, it's not gonna be something that you can switch on and off. It's gonna be plugged into you. So it's gonna be very appealing, but here are a couple of big problems with, with this technology. So first thing is that if enough people start using it, then the rest of society in a way has to start using these types of technologies because they will stay behind, right? Same way like now with the smartphone. If you wanna live in a society, if you don't wanna use smartphone, internet, computers, you're gonna have difficult time because your employee, you might have problems with finding a job, for example. No one's gonna hire someone who doesn't wanna use smartphones or something, you know, things like that. So once enough people start using these technologies, then everyone else will have to start using them as well or stay behind and not be part of the society. So it's not going to be so much choice really at some point. So this is why I say that there is going to be a split most likely where we're going to have people who want to become basically a transhumanist slaves because this is slavery you get some fake abilities and you become completely under control of a corporation for example a government and they can scan every emotion you have every thought you have every desire later on the the communication is both ways so it can develop into things like, oh, this guy is a bad citizen, let's switch off something in his algorithm, right? He's not gonna watch that, or he's gonna have slower bandwidth or whatever. This technology might turn into a prison in a way. Convenience, entertainment becomes your prison, basically. So that's why I think we might observe a split where you're gonna have people willing to become a part of this level, this type of society, or people who are gonna decide to maybe live in organic way. And I'm definitely organic one here. So for example, already a lot of people, they start building some communities like eco villages, living off grid, I was watching this documentary recently about Fruit Haven in Ecuador, which is this community of Westerners who decided to build an off-grid community and they grow their own food. They have solar panels and they rely very little on society, on matrix, basically. They're mostly self-sufficient or to a large extent. I know a couple that recently decided to just start a homestead, bought a little farm somewhere in Portugal and they also want to live off grid. So we might start observing split where people gonna have to stay away from regular matrix life and start relying on themselves to not become cyborg slaves fully controlled, right? I think this is the likely scenario for the next 10 to 20 years. That's why it's good to start thinking about these things now because it's already happening and everyone thinks that this is what, what's gonna happen. The trajectory looks more or less into this direction. So maybe it's time to start thinking about starting these communities now. Because later on, there is going to be a lot of people who will decide to move into such communities. Thanks for checking another video. Follow me on Instagram and let me know what you think about it in the comments. 
If the video resonates, please share it with others and till next time.